the Black Rock Beast. The group of hikers set out on their journey up Black Rock Mountain, eager to reach the summit and take in the breathtaking views. But as they climbed higher, the forest grew denser, and the air grew colder, the trees seemed too close in on them, and the group soon found themselves lost in the maze of paths and trails as they searched for the way forward. They heard a rustling in the bushes at first, they thought it was just a deer or bear, but as the noise grew louder, they realized that it was something far more sinister. A beast emerged from the trees, its eyes glowing in the darkness. It was unlike anything they had ever seen before. With razor-sharp claws and teeth as long as a human hand, the beast let out a deafening roar, and the hikers knew they had to run. They raced through the forest, branches whipping their faces as they tried to chun the beast. But the creature was fast, and soon it was upon them, slashing and tearing at their flesh. As the hikers fought for their lives, they realized that the beast was not the only danger on the mountain. They stumbled upon an abandoned cabin, and inside they found evidence of something far more sinister. Human bones scattered around the room like discarded toys. The hikers knew they had to get out of there, but the beast was still hot on their trail. They fought with all their might, but the creature seemed to be invincible, its strength and ferocity unmatched. Just when it seemed like all was lost, the hikers stumbled upon an old mine. They ran inside, hoping to find some kind of shelter. But as they explored the mine, they realized that they were not alone. There were those down there with them, creatures that were not quite human, not quite animal. The hikers tried to run, but it was too late. The creatures had them surrounded, their glowing eyes watching from the darkness. They knew that they were about to become the next victims of Black Rock Mountain. As the hikers fought for their lives, they heard the beast outside, its roar chewing through the tunnels. They knew that they were trapped, and that there was no way out. They were just the latest victims of the Black Rock Beast, and they knew that they would never make it out alive. But just as all hope seemed lost, one of the hikers noticed something glinting in the corner of the mine. It was a small, ancient artifact, a charm of some sort, with strange markings etched into its surface. With no other options left, the hikers quickly grabbed the artifact and held it up to the creatures, hoping it would have some kind of effect. To their amazement, the creatures recalled in fear, as if they recognized the symbol on the artifact. It was then that they noticed that the symbol was identical to the one etched into the stone at the entrance to the mine. Realizing that the charm might be their only hope, the hikers clung to it tightly as they made their way through the tunnels, avoiding the creatures that still lurked in the shadows. As they emerged from the mine, they saw the beast waiting for them, its massive frame blocking their only exit, but as they held up the charm, the beast seemed to hesitate, as if unsure of what to do. Taking advantage of the momentary confusion, the hikers made a run for it, racing down the mountain as fast as they could. As they reached the safety of the valley below, they looked back up at the mountain, still shrouded in mist and darkness. They knew that they had narrowly escaped with their lives, but they also knew that they would never forget the horrors they had witnessed on Black Rock Mountain. And as they clung to the ancient artifact, they wondered what other secrets lay hidden in the darkness, waiting to be discovered by those brave enough to venture into the unknown. The Black Rock Call. In the heart of the Appalachian Mountains lies a small town called Black Rock. It was an idyllic place, surrounded by lush greenery and bubbling brooks. But the townspeople had always been a strange bunch, with their dark, sunken eyes and their hushed whispers that echoed through the hills. When Jack and Emily moved into the area, they were immediately drawn to the quiet charm of the town. They settled into a cozy cabin at the foot of Black Rock Mountain and soon became acquainted with the locals. But something about the townspeople made them uneasy. They seemed to be hiding something. One night, Jack and Emily heard strange chanting coming from the mountain. They peered out their window and saw a group of people dressed in black robes, circling a fire on the peak. They looked like they were performing some sort of ritual jacker, and Emily dismissed it as a harmless gathering, but they couldn't shake the feeling that something was off. The days turned into weeks, and the couple started to notice more and more strange behavior from the townspeople. They would stare at Jack and Emily with cold, vacant eyes, and whisper behind their backs. They started to feel like they were being watched all the time. One night, Emily woke up to find that Jack was missing. She searched the cabin and found a note on the kitchen table. It read, come to Black Rock Mountain. We have something to show you. Emily's heart raced as she hurried to the mountain. She found the group of robed figures standing around a black rock at the peak of the mountain. They beckoned her closer, and as she approached, she realized that the rock was pulsing with another worldly energy. As the cultists began to chant, 
Their voices rising to a fever pitch. Emily watched in horror as the black rock cracked open, revealing a gaping mar from within the rock emerged a writhing mass of tentacles and teeth. Emily screamed and tried to run, but the cultists grabbed her and held her down. The creature from the rock descended upon her, devouring her flesh as she screamed in agony. The cultists stood around her, their eyes gleaming with madness. Jack was never found, and the townspeople of Black Rock continued their dark rituals, sacrificing innocence to the creature in the Black Rock. The townspeople had always been a strange bunch, but no one suspected that they were part of a cult, worshipping an eldritch horror that lurked beneath the mountain, and as long as the Black Rock pulsed with its dark energy, the people of Black Rock would continue to be consumed by their own madness. Years passed, and the town of Black Rock became even more isolated and secretive. Few insiders ventured into the area, and those who did often never returned. The cultists grew more brazen in their rituals, sacrificing animals and even some of their own townspeople to appease the creature in the Black Rock. But a new family moved into the town, a family that would change everything. The family had come to Black Rock in search of a fresh start, but they soon realized that something was very wrong with the town. The family began to investigate and soon discovered the horrifying truth about the Black Rock cult. They knew they had to stop the cult before more innocent lives were taken, but they also knew they were up against a powerful and dangerous enemy. They recruited other like-minded townspeople who had long suspected something was off about their neighbors and formed a plan. One moonless night, the group of vigilantes made their way up the mountain, armed with whatever they could find. As they approached the Black Rock, the cultists emerged from the shadows, brandishing knives and chanting their twisted hymns. A fierce battle ensued, with the cultists fighting ferociously to protect their dark master. But the townspeople were determined, and they fought with all their might. In the case, the Black Rock cracked and shattered, and the creature within was released. The beast was a hideous abomination, with tentacles writhing from its gaping maw and eyes that burned with a sickening green light. The townspeople fought bravely, and after a long and grueling battle, they managed to defeat the monster, with the Black Rock destroyed, and the cultists either dead or lasted. The town of Black Rock slowly began to recover. The new family that had started the rebellion became heroes, and the townspeople began to rebuild their community with a renewed sense of purpose and hope. But some say that the creature from the Black Rock never truly died, that it still lurks somewhere in the mountains, waiting for its next chance to be released, and so the people of Black Rock remain vigilant, always watching, always waiting for the next horror that might be unleashed upon their town. The Black Rock Terror. It was a beautiful day in the small town of Black Rock, with the sun shining and the birds chirping. For years, the locals had heard the rumors about Black Rock Mountain, but they had always dismissed them as just legends. However, strange things had been happening around the area lately, and the townspeople couldn't ignore them any longer. People reported seeing strange shadows moving on the mountain, hearing eerie whispers in the wind, and feeling an overall sense of unease. It was as if something sinister was lurking just beyond the edge of town. Despite the warnings and rumors, a group of teenagers decided to hike up Black Rock Mountain for fun. They were young and naive, thinking that the legends were just a way to scare them. But as they made their way up the winding trail, they began to feel a sense of foreboding. The air grew colder and the sky darker as they climbed higher. And soon they were surrounded by an eerie silence. It was as if the world had been swallowed up by the mountain, and they were the only ones left. Suddenly, one of the hikers let out a blood-curdling scream. The others turned to see what had happened and found that their friend had disappeared without a trace. Panic set in and they realized that they were not alone on the mountain. As they frantically searched for their missing friend, they began to see shapes moving in the shadows. Strange noises filled the air, and the group realized that they were being hunted. They tried to run, but it was too late. The curse of Black Rock Mountain had claimed another victim. The town was never the same after that day, and the legends of the Cursed Mountain were no longer dismissed as mere superstition. And years later, people still talk about the Black Rock Tower, and the cautionary taste serves as a warning to those who dare to ignore the warnings of the unknown. The townspeople became more and more convinced that something was wrong with Black Rock Mountain. They started to see strange things around the area, unexplained disappearances, airy whispers in the wind, and even sightings of a mysterious figure lurking in the shadows. As the years went by, the legends of the Cursed Mountain only grew stronger, and fewer and fewer people dared to venture up the winding trail. Those who did never returned, and the mountain became a place of fear and dread. One day, 
A group of local researchers decided to investigate the strange occurrences around Black Rock Mountain. They spent weeks studying the mountain and interviewing the townspeople, trying to uncover the truth behind the legends. Finally, they discovered something shocking. The mountain was home to an ancient evil, a malevolent force that had been trapped there for centuries, and it was hungry for more victims. The researchers tried to warn the townspeople, but it was too late. The evil had already awoken, and it was too powerful to be stopped. The townspeople soon found themselves in a battle for survival, as the cursed mountain unleashed its fury upon them. As the mountain was alive with a fury that no one had ever seen before. Trees toppled over, rocks flew through the air, and the very ground shook beneath their feet. The townspeople fled in terror, but the mountain seemed to be everywhere, closing in on them from all sides. As the sun set, the mountain unleashed its final attack. A wave of darkness swept over the town, swallowing everything in its path. And when it was over, the town was nothing but a wasteland. The curse of Black Rock Mountain had claimed its final victims, and the mountain stood tall and silent once again. But the legends live on, a warning to all who dared to venture too close to the ancient evil that lay hidden within. The Curse of Black Rock Mine the Black Rock Mayan loomed in the distance, its dark entrance beckoning to the group of treasure hunters, despite the warnings from locals about the curse. Had befallen the mine, they were determined to explore its depths. The group descended into the mine, their footsteps echoing off the walls. As they searched for treasure, they found evidence of the curse, old tools left behind, abandoned carts, and even a few bones, but they brushed off the warnings, convinced that the curse was nothing more than an old wives' tale. But as they delved deeper into the mine, strange things began to happen. Tools went missing, and eerie whispers echoed through the tunnels. The air grew colder, and the group's flashlights flickered and dimmed. One by one, the treasure hunters began to disappear, taken by the curse. Their screams echoed through the tunnels, but there was nothing the remaining members of the group could do. They knew they had to get out of the mine before it claimed them too. As they ran through the dark tunnels, they heard the sound of something chasing them. It was then that they saw it a figure half man, half demon, with eyes that glowed in the darkness. The curse had taken hold of them, and there was no escaping it. The group frantically searched for a way out, but the tunnels seemed to twist and turn in impossible ways. They stumbled upon an ancient chamber, and in the center of the room was a glowing stone, the source of the curse. As they reached for the stone, the demon figure emerged from the darkness. It was then that they realized that the curse was not just an old wise tale. It was very much alive, and they were its latest victims. The remaining members of the group tried to fight back, but it was too late. The curse had claimed them just as it had claimed the countless miners before them. The Black Rock Mayan would remain cursed, its depths forever haunted by the demon that lurked within. As the demon consumed the last of the treasure hunters, a low growl echoed through the chamber. It was then that the glowing stone cracked open, revealing a dark, pulsating energy. The demon stepped back as if in fear, and the energy shot out of the stone, engulfing everything in its path. The walls shook and the ground rumbled as the curse was broken. As the dust settled, the remaining members of the group found themselves back at the entrance of the mine. They looked at each other in disbelief, unsure of what had just happened. Had it all been a nightmare? But as they turned to leave, they saw the figure of the demon standing in the distance. It was then that they knew the curse may have been broken, but the demon was still very much alive. They ran from the mine, their hearts pounding with fear. They knew that they would never forget the horror they had witnessed inside the cursed Black Rock Mine. From that day on, the mine remained closed, a dark and haunted place that no one dared to enter. But whispers of the curse and the demon continued to haunt the town, a reminder of the horrors that lay within the depths of Black Rock Mine. The Haunting of Black Rock Inn The Black Rock Inn had stood on the edge of town for centuries, a looming presence that seemed to watch over the surrounding area. It had been a haven for travelers and a hub for the community, but it had also seen its fair share of tragedy. The rumors of ghostly apparitions and strange noises had long haunted the inn, but the owners always dismissed them as mere superstition. That was until a group of paranormal investigators arrived, determined to uncover the truth about the inn's haunted past. As the night wore on, the investigators began to experience strange occurrences. Doors opened and closed on their own, cold spots appeared in the middle of rooms, and eerie whispers filled the air. It was as if the spirits of the dead were trying to communicate with them. But things soon took a darker turn. 
The investigators heard screams coming from the basement and saw shadows moving in the darkness. They tried to leave, but the doors were locked and the windows barred shut. As the night warned, the investigators began to feel as if they were being watched by unseen eyes. They saw ghostly apparitions moving in the hallways and heard the sound of footsteps coming from empty rooms. It was as if the spirits of the dead were all around them. The investigators tried to communicate with the spirits, but they were met with only silence. It was as if the spirits had no desire to be communicated with only to torment and terrify those who had dared to enter their domain. As the night drew to a close, the investigators realized that they may never leave the inn alive. They were trapped in a haunted nightmare, with no escape in sight. The spirits of the dead had claimed yet another victim, and the Black Rock Inn remained fur accursed. The townspeople continued to tell tales of the haunted inn, warning others to stay away. But there were always those who dared to ignore the warnings lured in by the promise of thrills and excitement, and so the cycle continued with the Black Rock Inn remaining a cursed and haunted place for centuries to come. The townspeople had long accepted the fact that the Black Rock Inn was cursed. They avoided the place at all costs, knowing that to enter its doors was to invite the wrath of the spirits that haunted it. But there were always those who were drawn to the inn, unable to resist the lore of the supernatural, and so, the stories of the inn's haunted past continued to spread, drawing in more and more curious visitors. Over the years, the inn changed hands numerous times, with each new owner hoping to break the curse that had plagued the building for centuries. But no matter what they tried, the spirits remained, their presence growing stronger with each passing day. Finally, the inn was sold to a wealthy entrepreneur, who had a reputation for being able to turn even the most run-down properties into profitable businesses. He poured millions of dollars into renovating the inn, hoping to create a luxurious retreat that would attract the rich and famous. But the spirits of the dead were not so easily appeased. As the renovations continued, strange things started to happen. Workers reported seeing ghostly apparitions moving through the hallways and tools would go missing only to turn up in the most unexpected places. Despite these warnings, the entrepreneur pushed forward with his plans. The grand opening of the new Black Rockin' was a lavish affair, with celebrities and dignitaries from around the world in attendance. But as the night warmed, the guests began to experience strange occurrences. Doors would open and close on their own, and cold spots would appear in the middle of rooms, and then the screams began. The guests were trapped in the inn, unable to escape as the spirits of the dead claimed victim after victim. The entrepreneur tried to flee, but the doors were locked and the windows barred shut. In the end, no one survived the night. The grand opening of the Black Rock Inn had turned into a bloodbath, with the spirits of the dead finally claiming their revenge on those who had dared to disturb their eternal rest. And so, the inn remained abandoned, a haunted monument to the curse of Black Rock Mountain. The townspeople continued to tell tales of its haunted past, warning others to stay away.